بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من في رحمة العالمين. So today we're going to be talking about مكتبة الشاملة. Yeah, مكتبة الشاملة is a, a digital library, an Arabic digital library. And if you go on my website, oceanofislam.co.uk, shamilah with a H at the end, uh, .html, if you go on my website, then you can find out more about this. There's, I've mentioned uh, different features available with this program. And obviously it's an Arabic program. I've also mentioned different editions, yeah, because there's the official version, and if you download from my website, there's approximately 17,000 books, uh, which comes up to around 27.2 gigabytes. Then there's other unofficial versions, meaning a third party has edited the software. Uh, well, not so much the software, but rather the books inside. So if you download from my website here, you can have 29, more than 29,000 books. And this is usually updated via a Telegram channel. And you have Al Maktab al Al Waqfiya. This is provided by the official website. Uh, this one comes with the PDF copies, meaning you can look at the text as, as well as the photocopy, the PDF version, at the same time. And to install it, you can uh, look at my website for a video to set up the Arabic language. Then you can download it and there's a guide to install the program. But I won't be going into that today as I've already produced a video uh, on this, but rather the how to use Maktab al -Shamir. So let's move over to that. Okay, so this is the program and it has various features, but it's mainly known for the searching feature. I'll show you the different buttons that are available for you to use. This will show you the different categories of books and you can browse through the books like this. Let's say books of Aqidah. Then it, have, it will have all the books of Aqidah underneath it. Likewise, you've got different different uh, categories. Our topic, Mustalah al Hadith here, for example. And you'll find many books that are available. So you can browse through the books like this. You can also search the book underneath. This search, if you are, have selected this, Majmu'ad, the categories, yeah? If you search the book, then it will show you one result at a time because it will go down the list. However, if you move over to this, Tasfiyah, and if you search a book. So for example, I want to search uh, Ibn Salah. So, slightly slow. So here we have Ibn Salah. So these are the works of Ibn Salah. I can open one of these books and have a read through. And Sabiq obviously means the previous search. Yeah. So this is just to browse through the books. If you have searched something, then you can use this to open up the full book, but which I will show later. This will show you the contents page. This will show you whether, if you, can, if you want to add comments, you can uh, bring up the section to add comments and save the section. Over here we have, you can search for something in the window that you have opened already. So if you have a book open, you can search within that window. With this, you can search the Quran. Or if you have a book open already, then you can search within the book that's open. So let's show you an example from this one. So if I search, for example, Nuru Samawat, this box here, if you uncheck this, which I usually do, it will it will allow for slight variance in the search. So 
let's say a hamza, uh, an alif with a hamza on top or not. Uh, so these things can be added into the search just by unchecking this. So this is one thing that I've mentioned before is that you have to be very particular with the search. Okay, so this is the Quran section of Maktab al -Shamina. So I've searched this and the verse has come up. I look has come up. Yeah, it'll show me what surah it is, it is, what verse it is on the side. And what's even better about this is that it has a collection of tafsirs already ready for you to just select and to see through it. So for example, if I choose a tabari, tafsir al tabari is a very famous uh, large tafsir. So the tafsir will come up for this verse. So I can browse through that verse for the, the tafsir. So like that you can choose any of these. And alternatively you can just choose a surah from here, choose the verse, and then you can choose your tafsir. So that's the bulk of the Quran section. So these are these open up in smaller windows. If you can see in the corner here, top left hand corner, then there's two uh, X buttons. So the look, bottom one will co close the window we've just opened. Okay. Now this is the main feature in Maktab al-Shamina, where you can search a term. So let's say. I'm, I'm going to search a term. Uh, just say Allah. Yeah, Allah. Again, I can uncheck this uh, if there's slight difference. So, for example, this word might come with something in before it, like Wallahi or something. So, this would allow me to search uh, with, uh, with the variance. And then I can choose which book to search in. So this has thousands and thousands of books like I've mentioned. So I can select a book that I want to search in and then I can search. But before I show you that, uh, this is an advanced search function. So this will allow you to, for example, search two words on the same page. So if you expect two words to appear on the same page or even phrases or sentences, then you can search them in here. Obviously, the more search terms you add in, the more restricted, the more uh, limited your results will be. If you press L here, so wow is when the search terms need to appear together. L here is different search terms. So meaning if you want to do multiple searches at the same time, then you can put them in here. So you can put two different words and they'll show you the different results for these words. So let's just do that. Uh, well, before we do that, over here are books that have I have saved separately. So instead of me having to go to a category and choose the books, I've selected the books already and I've saved them to, to a, uh, as you could say, a, a saved search category. So if I want to search Al-Qutub Al-Sunnah, meaning the books Pari, then I can search them directly without have, me having to search for the book. If you want to search for the book, you can search over here as well. So you can just type, for example, if I type in the Bukhari, then you have Sahih Bukhari and you have different copies of Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. This would show you, say so if I've selected a book, this would show you about the book and give you information regarding the book. So you have the book name, you have the author over here and the death date. And sometimes we will also have the Anashir, the publisher. And in the brackets it will mention whether, for example, if the book the uh, this version has the tashkil which is the harakat if it has the vowel signs and whether or not it is according to the published version meaning are the pages categorized according to the published official published versions because obviously these are all transcribed from uh, printed books so let's do that search so here we have Multiple, obviously, the word Allah is common. So we have multiple search results. We've selected 22 books because I chose uh, the Al-Qutub Sunnah section. So, for example, Sunnah Ibn Majah. 
you remember, we talked about Sunan ibn Majah. So this is Sunan ibn Majah. Did it show you the result in red? So I'm going to stop this search because obviously it's going to go on forever. And close the window. One more thing on the search function is if you want to search, let's say, Mutun al Hadith, you want to search all of these books of Hadith, Al Fasa al Mujmu'ah Kullaha, meaning I want to search in this whole group, this whole category. If I want to cancel everything in this category, I'll press Ilza. If I want to search all the books in the whole program, yeah. I want to search all the books in the whole program, and that's approximately 17,000, I believe. Then I can select this and do the search. Or I can cancel all of these and just refresh basically, select a new set of books to search in. So that's for the text search, to search for the text. And you also have, for example, you can search in the titles, you can search the titles, uh, and uh, I'm not fully aware of the third option. Yeah. But usually, this is basically the most famous one that is used, and Nusus, where we can search the text. So this is the main function of Amakad Shemir. This will show you the last search result. So whatever you search last has been saved. This will show you any saved results. If you saved any search results and the save button is it appears after you search so you can do that and this is pretty straightforward you can browse the book go to the beginning of the book go a page back page forward and to the end of the book this will open up the quran so over here it was to search in the quran and this will open up the quran yeah so in the same uh, section will open up yeah which i've showed you already If there's any Sharh commentary link to a book we are looking, it will be available to see. If it, there's any references to Khadij, uh, which is available to the book, you will, you will see there. If you have a PDF connected to the book, so let's say you downloaded the third version that I showed you just earlier, then you can open up the PDF uh, to see the actual photocopied version uh, once you're doing your search. Okay. This is istirad al mulafat. Istirad of mulafat. Meaning, meaning. Okay. So, meaning, if you want to add in books manually, so you downloaded it from the Shamila website, you want to add in a website, uh, add in a book, sorry, then you will browse here. And then you will add in to this section here. So you move it over to this section. And this, then you will press this istirad button, this thunder sign. And it will pretty much upload or download into the program. Let's see when I add books. And there's other uh, functions which uh, it's not really that important. Uh, if you want to edit the book, but usually this is restricted. If you want to change uh, information regarding the book, that's also usually restricted. Uh, this is good. This is the list of authors. If you want to search up a specific author and then see what books this uh, author has. So for example, this uh, author here has two books and I can open up the book directly from here. And he has all the information regarding the author, regarding the book. Uh, so it's a great function to have. This would is a copy sign, obviously. So whatever text you have open, you can copy it directly. This acts like a bookmark. So if you're looking at a page and you save the page, it would appear here. So you can save your bookmarks. This is to export a book. So you can export a book to a Word application or a Shamina ebook file, which is a .bok. Uh, it's not your normal EPUB file, but it's a .bok file. So I'll just quickly show you that. So you choose your book and then you can go to options and see this would come as a Word document. So you can select Word document or even a web, it might be a HTML document, but usually you use the Word document. What's how, how much can, how much size 
should the Word document be? So each volume or each file, how much can it contain? How much size can it contain? It's megabytes, kilobytes. And if you want it to mention the volume and the page number, if you want it to uh, mention any comments that you've added, if you want to uh, have a line between every page, according to the publisher, uh, if you want to take out a specific part of the book, so you can mention one page here, or you can mention volume and page uh, from and to volume and page. So that's there. And whether or not you want to keep the harakat or not, if you want to keep the tashkil. So this is a great feature. And then you just press this button here and it will export the book for you. Uh, you can save it to a folder that you want and then you can just press the export button. So after you've put it onto the Word document, you can print uh, the Word document. Yeah. This is to show you the details regarding the book, which I've mentioned earlier. So if you have a book open, you can press this and it will show you the details regarding the book. And these are the features like, I believe these are the sponsors, you can visit their website. These are the settings of the program, so you can change the font, the size, and other options that are available. And this is update. So if you download the official Shamila, then you can automatically update books uh, into this. Now, this uh, I have to give a disclaimer, to be honest. This is the older version. This is, the, I believe, 3.86 of Maktab al-Shamila. They've updated to al Maktab al-Shamila 4, but unfortunately, when they updated, they restricted a lot of the features. So a lot of the features that I've just shown you they restricted most of them. They kept the ones that are more famous. Um, so I've stuck to the old one. Unfortunately, they don't update any more books on the old one. So you have to get the new one, from what I've understood. Uh, but alternatively, you can obviously go to the unofficial Maktab uh, al They look the same, their features are the same. It's just they have more books available and they continue to update, for example, via Telegram. So you can see all of that on my website. So that's Al-Maktab al-Shamila.